Hello everybody, I'm just about ready to get started. Good luck switching weapons into full charge. No, I'm not doing that, Calvisham. That's not in the main playthrough. Let's chat a little bit. So, we're going to showcase some things that I missed last time and making some corrections as we go through in terms of glitches. Chat, there are so many glitches. Listen, I will probably not cover all of them. Some of them are kind of complicated. Some of them require very specific setups. I will just very briefly mention those. But I've set aside a couple of saves because there are so many, so many glitches. So rip, rip my files as I did not quite save it in the order that I wanted to. So let's give a salute to that. But let's go ahead and proceed further with the game. So just so Calvisham is aware, we are not overcharge glitching every boss. In fact, I don't want to do that at any point in our playthrough. Let's switch into the game. Give it a little pause. Ignore it being off center. I have to do that as part of the changes. For some reason, the SNES is like, it's just slightly too wide. Honestly, I wish they didn't put a banner on both sides of the screen. But we're gonna have to deal with it just for a little bit. There we go. Now things are working as intended. So, before I mess up my save files, let's go to glitch file number one. Welcome in Parameter. So, I was slightly wrong on what... You can softlock with the escape rope. I had the wrong room. It's actually a room within the castle. So, this file literally exists for me to just get here quickly. So, if for some reason you decide to escape rope in here... Congratulations, you have softlocked the game. You can no longer escape. You're in the infinite room. This is <laughs> this is your home now. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Well, Chad, I hope you enjoyed the purpose of that save file. Give give it a round of applause slash a salute. It is it is that easy to soft lock. <laughs> the don't don't use don't use uh the escape rope escape rope in all rooms, or else you could be in a situation like this. So that's correction number one. Uh, let's go ahead and switch files. So I needed to have all of my save states loaded because there are so many glitches. And I'm not even going to showcase all of them. I'm just going to show you just as many as I can perform. So anyway, Pat, did you... I'm surprised this didn't happen. Chat did not troll me with this. Did you know naming your character is a glitch? Did you, did you know that, chat? So what happens in the game... If you decide to name a character the same thing as a character that already exists. <laughs> okay. So, keep in mind... Normally the sprite is supposed to come with one set of equipment. What if I just like mash the start button? And then I go, oh, silly me, I gotta delete a letter. Let's see what that did to our inventory. Oops. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I guess... The, the easiest explanation for this is that it wants to start the game off with the midge row because that's what they start with. But if you keep pressing start, it adds a midge robe to your inventory, but it doesn't let you continue the game. So you could do this with the sprite as well as the girl. So if you just feel like duplicating a whole bunch of armor until you cap out on the number of armors, um, there's that. <laughs> just... Very easy duplication, no no setup required. Just name it the same character. Name your boy something, then try calling the character boy and watch it glitch. So anyway, that's another save file. We're gonna continue forward, Chad. As I said before, we have a lot of glitches to showcase. Or attempt to showcase. 
So, John, I want you to take a look at my inventory. I have none. So, let's show what happens when you decide you really want to break the game. <laughs> so, chat, th this is also banned in our main playthrough, but I figure you deserve a little treat. You sat through me messing up the Spike Tiger. Let's let's really break the game. So if you're wondering, chat, why I ban myself from certain things, watch what happens when this occurs. So let's try to explain what's happening here. So by default, chat, the game will remember what item you have selected for quick item management. And you're like, okay, that doesn't sound so bad. Okay, so what happens if you go to sell something? Oh, look at that, chat. It remembered our second item slot was medicinal herb. But, uh, what if we sell everything? And you're like, okay, I don't see what the problem is. And I'm like, what if I tell it to go to a buy menu? Hmm, there's a lot of items here. It sure would be a shame if the game forgot to check if I had an item in the second slot still or not and tried loading something. That would be a sure shame if that happened, if I went back to sell and something weird happened. Oh, oops. I guess I just have the merchant's inventory now. Um... Sure, why don't we sell some chocolate? Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, it's not chocolate chat, it's Blatt. I'd like to sell a few copies of Blatt. I would like to just keep selling some Blatt. I, you know what? I don't think that was enough Blatt. You know what? I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a very reasonable amount of money to start the game with. We got Blatt. So, there are so many glitches associated with this, I will try to cover some of them. So rule of thumb, if you want to try this on your own copy, it's very easy. All you need are two items, preferably before you get escape rope. You go to the merchant, you buy two items, select your inventory, move it to the second slot. So that it could be medicinal herb, it could be chocolate, it could be anything. If you happen to pick up a candy and you buy a couple wishes, whatever, it'll work with that. When you go to switch between sell, buy, and sell after selling all of your inventory items, you now have access to the Merchant's Ring. Blatt will sell for like 28 to 30,000 per sell. Um, these are essentially the most amount of items you can have in your ring from what I recall. So like, the t think of this as like normally your usable item ring, but the game is just really confused right now. So if you sell eight of an item, it'll get rid of it. If you sell anything less, weird things will happen to the game. So let's give an example. Uh, I also don't recommend using Blatt, or you'll probably crash the game. So, what you need to do... ...is... ...if you sell... Let me see if there's a limitation on it. So, in intervals of 8, if you get rid of 8, it'll get rid of the item, so therefore you won't glitch the game. So, that's that's the safety precaution. However... You can replace the blat that is here with real items. So, if I were to sell... I'm not sure I'll do that. I haven't practiced this portion of the glitch correctly. Let me just... Let me just normally exit here. That way we have some progress. So we can see it went to trash. It's going to behave weirdly for a little bit. I'm going to make the game realize what I did. Or we screwed up the game file and it's fine. Oh. It's still broken. You know what? That's fine. This is fine. We, we need more money. I lost track of how many I've sold, but essentially, what you could do is before you leave the menu, you could buy an item to replace it. So this should make the game do something different when I exit here. And essentially what you can do... Yeah, see now it's working correctly. So now what you could do is you could, you could fill up your slots with whatever you want, but you can also really confuse the game by selling, let's say, seven of an item instead of eight, and you can cause... I'm not going to call it an under... I guess it's technically an underflow. Normally, there's a limitation of four items per slot. But with Blatt, you could set it to seven. 
No, no, you could set it, you could set the, the counter to seven, which then thinks that it's eight items. It's kind of weird. So therefore, you can have eight times of any item. So I could duplicate eight fairy walnuts by selling seven blats instead of eight, which will clear the item. It'll put it at time zero. So if you also buy multiple of the same item, you can fill up multiple of the same slot, I think. Let's try this. We're going to try it for the first time. I haven't tried this part of the glitch. I've done the money glitch before off stream. This part I don't recall as much. So we're just going to reset it real quick. But yeah, you could see, you could just completely break the game. I think chat agrees. Like, game is, game is actually just broken right now. So I could do whatever I want. I'll do candy, chocolate, why not? And then what we'll do... Oops, before I do that. Gotta make sure we select something other than the first one, or I believe it will not work. So I'm going to force it here. Oh, see, there we go. We glitched it a little bit. So... <laughs> I <laughs> I purchased items earlier. I sold some blat, but I didn't sell eight blat. So technically, I have five of an item. And you can see if you don't properly clean out the inventory, you'll kind of glitch the item. So it says candy. I believe it'll heal you like it's candy. Yeah, so you can, you can have some real weird things happen in the game, for sure. My recommendation is that if you do end up with blat, you sell the blat that you have so the game behaves normally. Or else you'll have very weird things happen to you. Oh no, the blat's not going to go away. I think I lost track of how many blat that was, but I think chat gets the idea. Oh, and now it's zero blat. Let's see if we could crash the game real quick. Yeah, there we go. Nice game crash. So yeah, if you want to crash the game that way, that's there. So yeah, basically, you need to just kind of clean out your inventory. So what I would recommend is you just sell, like, literally each of the items eight times, or if you want to cause it to behave weirdly, sell it, like, seven times, and you can have some weird things happen to the game. But anyway, we're not going to go into more details with it. I, I'm going to recommend... There is a speed demos archive of this that I think goes over in a bit more detail. Let me share this with the chat in case people want to break it a bit more cleanly. So I'm just basing it off of what was there. So goodbye, Blant. But chat, there's more glitches. So, chat, you might recall in the beginning of the game, we had the option of going to the Water Temple. We met Luca. We met Dyluck. What if you talk to Luca, but didn't talk to Dyluck? So what that'll normally do in the game is... I could replay through, but I had a limited number of saves, and I saved them in the wrong order. But imagine you go through the temple, you talk to her, you go by the soldiers the first time, when you come out, they're gone. When they're gone, weird things start to happen to the game. So we're going to go... As though we had gone back to Pandora. So chat might remember we were captured by goblins and then she normally joins the party. Well, if you don't see that cutscene, something a little different happens. So she'll say, Dad, you're impossible. Make my own decisions about my life. Look out! And she leaves. So this will actually showcase a little more plot. We did not see this when we played last time, by the way. So let's go ahead and get extra plot while we're here. This is trouble. Sir Elmond. Just what do you intend to do? Let's forget we ever had this discussion. How absolutely impertinent. And apparently the son is the, the fat kid that we saw in the earlier Secret of Mana uh, village. Oh dear. I suppose she's so selfish because she was raised by a man. Oof. It's been tough since she hasn't had a mother. I wanted to make her happy on her wedding day. That's why I arranged for her to marry a young nobleman. But now she tells me she's in love with a soldier. All right, so we got a little, just a little extra lore. If chat wanted to get the idea of why she was running away. But what happens if you then revisit her house? So you might recall we found her house in the first playthrough, and nothing happened when we went there. I think something a little a little special is gonna happen this time. So let's proceed further this way. I think her house was was it this one or the bottom one? I always forget. That does not look correct. Oh, unless this is... Oh, yeah, this looks correct. 
Do you might recall, we talked to her and she's like, the master and his daughter are... Instead of being outside, they're upstairs. Hmm, that's weird. We just saw them in the castle. Let's go talk to her. So, already it's, we get kind of blocked in. Let's talk to her now. I can't stand this. I'm gonna find Dialect all by myself. And she just vanishes into the ether. So, she's gone. That's a bit weird. Um, why don't we talk to him? I'm sure he'll have something very wise to say. Go, 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 dot, dot, dot. So, what happened? Other than making him mind snap by messing with the events of the game, essentially what is believed to have occurred here is normally Elman tries to call out to his daughter, but we never named her in this playthrough, because if you remember, normally we go to the goblins, then we went to the castle, and then we named her, or alternatively, if we go to the forest and save her from werewolves, we name her, we name her there. However, he's trying to reference a name that doesn't exist, so he just, he just mind snaps. So there you go, Chad, there's the mind snap. And as I said before, there are there are so many more glitches. There's a very complicated one I think I'll try to get for next time. It basically requires you to do something called equipment trashing. So similar to how the game acted very weird here when I sold items and I caused myself to get infinite money, if you sell equipment that you're wearing in a similar process, it also really confuses the game. You can cause it to basically fill your inventory with a whole bunch of items. The downside to this glitch compared to the money glitch, money glitch is super easy to do. The downside to this is that there is literally a uh, setup you need to do because the items you get are based off of the map position of where you physically are on the screen. So if you are not like pixel precise, you will not dupe the item that you want to dupe. So, that that one's a bit more involved. I'm not going to promise I could do that one on screen or not. Thank you, Barkey, for subscribing. Hopefully you're doing well. Good evening. So, I will make you aware that there's also weird things that can happen by scrapping your armor. We will not be doing any of these in our main playthrough, but I thought they were kind of humorous to showcase. Hopefully Chan enjoyed the blat. <laughs> the blat is real. So just be aware at any time, I could just, just choose to have millions of gold. But I'm choosing not to. I do it for you, chat. So I'm gonna go reload the... I don't know, I guess the save's the best. And then what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna name the character just A. I'm just gonna reset the game from here, because I'll take this save file over the other save files. So I'm just going to showcase that we did indeed glitch it earlier. Midge robe, I only had one compared to the oh, <laughs> near infinity I had earlier. Anyway, we're going to reset. Oh, by the way, there's also glitches with the reset. Those are banned. Just also FYI. There's, there's even more. We have not scratched the surface. I haven't gotten to the point in the game where I can really exploit the glitch. But yeah, you, you can break the game even harder, Chad. So let me take inventory of what our weapon levels are at. I feel like I didn't level these properly. So boomerang looks good. Spear looks good. Pole dart looks decent. I need at least... I, I would prefer two more weapons to be at around 80. I don't need all of them. So what I'm going to do, because I'm probably going to forget to do this later. Let's see how much weapon experience we get by going out here. And if I don't get a lot, I'm going to have to wear it. Uh, oops, I don't want to equip anything there. I'm going to have to wear it separately to try to level. I'm probably not going to use the whip on the boy for very much. So let me raise the experience for later, because this will save me literally hours of gameplay by doing it for 20 minutes. All right, so we do okay damage. I probably want to level magic a little more anyway. 
One other thing, if I strike them with a whip while they're getting hit by magic, the damage will stack. So you see how some of them took like way more damage than the others? That was the whip damage stacking with the magic damage. I need to be doing that going for- oh, I get so confused with my menus. I need to do that going forward in order to make sure that I get weapon experience. So just need a little level. So I'm gonna see how much three of these basically gave me. Ooh, only six. So I'm over leveled for this area, so that's not good. So we're gonna have to find other enemies to fight in order to level it a bit more. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna level uh, the magic up a little more, I'm just gonna briefly attack again. So I made a small error in XP routing for the weapon, which is fine. I could fix it later. But more importantly, I wanna try to get the Undine spells a little stronger. And I guess I could also just do this. There we go. I went up 16. That actually wasn't too bad. So we're just going to have to fix it a little bit later. Not a big deal. I just have to remember that I need to do that. Speaking of which... I'm just going to level her magic more as a safety. I don't need it for anything in the game. I need one of her things to level, but we don't have it yet. So I'm just going to burn this for safety. And let's also level the weapon magic up. So I just like doing that to reset it a little bit. Sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's not. It depends on how much they have to move in the screen. So we're just going to go restore our magic and we're going to continue with the plot. So I basically need to level my uh, weapon level a bit more. Oh, hold on. I think there's yet another glitch I can show off. I just thought of one just now. As I said before, this game is like... Like, if you thought games like Soten were buggy, <laughs> move over. This, this is the king of buggy games. You do whatever you want in this game. Okay, let's see if I could do it. Is it just like this? I don't think... How do I do it normally? I need to do something like this. Maybe it doesn't work with one controller. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it does. Never mind. I wasn't facing the right way. So we can just activate the uh, the seed from up there for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question it. Anyway, I'm gonna use a little reset warp trick just to go back to the beginning. Cause screw the stairs in this game. Welcome, Nate the Great. Hope you're doing well. See, so yeah, I gotta level up my whip proficiency. I have to monitor it a little bit. I don't want it to level. I want to get it close to leveling. I don't recall if I went over the mechanic in the first part, but basically, my magic number is about 450. So if I take all my weapons... I believe every weapon level adds 12 points, and every point of experience is a total towards that. So sword is going to always have some variable number. I don't have to worry about that. If I have five weapons at about 80, I'm, I should be good, because with my other remaining weapons, it doesn't matter what I have. So if I level whip up a little more and get bow a little more leveled, I should be good. Axe is a backup in case I accidentally leveled the javelin. And that's all I'm looking to do there. Chrono and Xenogears. I have not played Xenogears. Maybe one day I'll do Chrono. I haven't decided. Actually, you know what? I'm getting decent XP on the way here. Interesting. So yeah, maybe just using this for a little longer and I should be good. So I'm just gonna pop enemies as I see them because I want weapon XP. Sadly, I am very overleveled, so I'm not going to get much weapon XP. We need to go to a harder area. But who knows, maybe that little bit of actual XP will matter later. One thing I don't think I also pointed out, every time I level, it does full heal me. Yeah, that's not bad. We're at 38. 
I could put it at 90 technically to make it more efficient, but it's very easy to overshoot. So now that we've had the conversation with, uh, I believe her name was Luca from the Water Temple, she mentioned we should go to the Upper Land, so let's go ahead and do that now. The Upper Land is huge. Reach it by going through the Great Forest. Just slide into the cannon. Time to mode 7 chat. So the reason I went for- oh, I forgot to show off a glitch. Well, not really a glitch, but a time saver. Oh well. Next time I go to cannon, remind me, Chan, I didn't show something off. You could cast spells right before talking to him, and you could skip the lock-in-place animation to save yourself some time. It is useful, because I would like to actually have Petrify here. Bandon says, Numnu, your home's here in the Great Forest, right? Lead on! Um, huh? I hit my head again when we landed. Lovely. This might take a while. Let's talk to this Moogle. Who? Listen, he's laughing. No, crying. Peblers have taken over their village. So anyway, we have to find their village. Spoilers. It's going to be an interesting journey there. So let's go ahead and weapon up. So the higher level this is, the more hits it'll last. So we're going to go, I believe, south to start. We have another glitch we can showcase. Wasn't there? I swear there's this other exit. Hold on. Oh, here it is. I just want to see one thing. Who has the sword? Does anybody have the sword? Nobody has the sword yet. Ooh. He's showing me the business chat. So I'm going to briefly swap her into the sword to showcase something. So take a look at the little statue here, chat. Little Easter egg. If you slash the statue with the sword specifically, it sticks its tongue out at you. I don't know why, it just does. Fun fact. I'm just checking to see what my weapon skill is with whip. Oh, it's going up quite a bit, actually. Leveling a character is not a bad thing. 60 whip, so we're almost there. I would like you to recast, if you please. There we go. So one thing I forgot to mention... Okay. I think I need two more kills and I can put this away. I'm not going to use it for the rest of the playthrough. Oh! Sucker punched. So one thing I forgot to mention is specifically... When it comes to the girl's magic, I don't need anything from her other than leveling one specific spirit. So everything else I just level with her is mostly for safety, except for the weapon enchant of Earth, just because I find it's useful if I do want to actually get a kill. We can abuse her magic in a way. I'm going to be careful not to actually level here with the weapon. So 87 is really good, so that's like 7 over what I need. So I just need to equip the bow now. And I'll have four weapons at at least 80, so that'll be like 8, 6, 32. And then I have at least 24. So yeah, I need to level bow as my backup, and I think I'm good. So, so far this is going fine. I do actually like the javelin. I haven't decided if I'm going to use it on a boss or not later. I probably should at some point. So I could get some safety experience on the axe, just in case. But one thing the girl's magic is really good for is if you happen to be taking a lot of damage and you die, so you haven't ghosted yet, but you're at zero HP, if you're casting Cure Water before you take the damage, you actually get revived, and it's kind of a sneaky way to keep your characters alive. Some people might do it unintentionally when they play the game and not realize it, but yeah, if you think you're about to take massive damage from a spell, you could just do Cure Water on everybody. There's also an item that will let us do basically the same thing for no MP, so... Eventually, that'll be easier to do than to do what I'm doing. But until then... Okay, so now we're on a lookout. So I came from there. I believe the village is not far from us. Might even be literally right here. Hmm. Maybe it's... Oh, gotta be careful about you. You're an annoying owl. 
prefer that you don't do whatever you want to do here. Where is it? I'm looking for the village chat. This is where I got lost as a kid, so I'm not surprised I got lost again. So there's like one little place I have to go to. And if I go there, I'm good. Wow, this takes a while to kill normally. Curiosity, how much XP was that worth? 27, <laughs> okay. Well, kind of worth shooting, I guess. So I'm looking for a very specific exit in the forest. And if I don't go there, I go in a big loop. I must have missed it in the other place. So I believe in what we'll call summer or the previous screen below us. There is a place I could go to for cannons, which I need to remember for later. But I don't remember where the other village is. Numnu's weapon level, that scared me. So I'm going to kill these and I'm going to ponder. So one downside is that now that there is a character that's silenced, they get very aggressive. Please don't stunlock me. Please stop stunlocking me. Please stop stunlocking me. Unfortunate. The girl dying doesn't super matter because I'm going to go to the inn regardless here. The only thing this costs me is a heal item. So I'm not super sad she died, it's just more annoying. She already got bonus XP, so mostly fun. So let's move on. Yeah, see I missed it. Hmm. Oh, game. Controller. Controller, please. What is going on? What was that? <laughs> Who's fighting me? I was holding down left and I was going up and then down and then right. I'm like, that's not at all what I just input. Okay, so we're gonna have to find the village entrance. I have a couple candies to spare. I might as well use them. Where is the entrance? This one is Let me think, chat. So, like, normally I think if you go... Because I don't want to keep walking in circles, because walking in circles is deadly here. So I think it might be... Maybe I missed it in the spring exit somewhere? I'm just trying to think, because I, I thought you had to go up for it, and if you don't, that's fine. Hmm. Alright, let's try again. Uh, I'm going to talk to one more character, just in case I had to talk to more than one. Nope. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, I could buy a cup of wishes if I want to, just to get XP. Oh, I have three cups of wishes. Actually, I'll just use one then. It's possible I went out the side exit and just didn't realize it. I think I want to go up here, for example. Leveling is fine. One other thing, if they're casting a spell, you can actually hit them during their animation at the end of the spell to hit them. Some enemies can get hit regardless of the animation that they give. Rabbites, in general, are the easiest to stunlock. Uh, so how are we looking with the bow now? 58. Okay, it's getting close. Again, we'll have a little bit of safety factor because I'll have a little more than 80. But I think due to the raw sword levels, I should hit the exact number that I need. So maybe I have to go- how do I do this? It's like... Why is she stuck? Game, please. Hmm. I mean, I think it's like right here. I think I have to go up from here somehow. So let me think about it. Hmm. Oh, unless it's one of those things where I have to leave and come back, maybe? Hold on, let me try going this way. No. Hmm. Interesting. I'm pretty sure this is where I have to go. I'm just not sure what I need to do to make this work. Is it something like... Let me think, chat. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure that's my destination. I just have to get the game to acknowledge that I want to go there. Is there some trick to it? 
Let's have her freeze weapon for now. I don't want to kill them. Is it something like I have to push them into view or something and then it'll work? No. Hmm. I don't think I forgot anything here. So I'll showcase if you go this way. So this will end up taking us to where we have to go eventually. There's an orb down here. Now if we were to look at our magic, I believe the... Maybe it's in the water element? I forget. Oh, maybe we don't have it yet. There's a way to check what the, the weakness is for the orb. I believe that one is air slash? Hmm. All right, so I'm now thinking about what I what I forgot. I'm pretty sure this is the exit, but I'm not sure why this is locked to me. Hmm. The great mystery chat. Let's just go through here real quick. Because I don't think we were given any other hints. Hmm. Alright, so Watts is over here. We ended up getting a lot of money, so I could upgrade something. I probably want to upgrade the Javelin Dart, because it does actually do decent damage. We already upgraded the Sword. I don't really want to upgrade any other weapon that we have. Hmm. I'm at a loss, Chad. I'm not sure how to progress. As I said before, I got confused when I was a kid as well. It's like something like... There's something I have to do, and I just don't remember what it is. I'm very tempted to double check what it is online. Hmm. So I can't do anything there. Because going in a circle is required for something later. I guess I could technically go back the way I came briefly, just to heal up. Let me rethink my what I want to do. Let's go to Potos, could go to Guy's Navel. Uh, or not to, though. Hmm. Let me think about this for a moment, chat. Sorry about this. Secret of Mana has a couple points in the game where it's very easy to not progress. This is one of the points I recall getting stuck at, and unfortunately I got stuck here again. So, essentially... Hmm... Oh, you know what? You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. I might be thinking of an area I have to go to next time. So the question is, if I go this way, that's progress. I might be thinking of something I have to go to next. Hold on. So what I need to do, is there another entrance over here? Game. Game. Please, please do not kill my sprite. Please do not kill my sprite. Thank you, Kurt, for resubscribing. Okay, this is it. Sorry, they look very similar. Okay, now we're good. Let's see. I still have magic with the sprite, which is what I'm looking to use. So the sprite is now at 12 MP, which is really good for us in the future. So I'm just trying to squeeze some weapon XP in. How much more do I need? Probably not too much more. 67, that's not too bad. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Sorry about that, chat. I did forget for a little bit. So let me think. Do I need to do anything else? Not really, I don't think. I could do something like... Oh, she doesn't have enough. I'll just have her cast on herself and do this. Oh, she was like one pixel too high. That is so sad. Or several pixels, actually. But anyway, now the Boogles are here. Now we can progress with the plot. 
Oh, my head. Ugh. What's wrong? Yippee, I can remember everything. Walk the seasons from spring to winter. Spring again and we can enter. So if I didn't mess up our initial order, I could have gotten that in one go. Oh, what are in the treasure chest here? Axel Orb, okay. Not interested. Alright, we're unstuck. Gloves Orb there. So the other place I was trying to go to was I have to loop in a circle and that's where I have to go. I was misremembering where I had to go. Um, I don't think any of these are worth leveling. I mostly just want to save here, potentially. Do we have an okay amount of money? Let me think. Is there anything else I need to do before this fight? I think I just need to burn more MP, maybe? Yeah, that should be fine. So let's burn some MP. Oh, he got cure watered right as he took damage. That sucks. I just need like one more kill. They're just not cooperating with me. So sad. Okay, that should put me close, right? 76? I can afford to get one more kill, I think. Please don't kill the other guy. That is such a time loss. No. I'm getting trolled with heal magic. And then they killed the sprite? Okay, that's not good. Okay, I'm at least where I need to be with this, so I'm gonna equip the axe for now. So if I happen to get some weapon XP, it's fine. If I don't, it's also fine. So let's go ahead and burn another cup of wishes, which is unfortunate. I could go back now if I really wanted to. Do I want to do that? No. I'm gonna go back in a little bit, but not right now. And then what we're gonna do is... Oh, I actually don't have any walnuts. That's not good. Oh, that's actually really bad. I thought I had one already. Didn't realize I was at zero. We gotta go back. Hmm. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, we're definitely gonna buy three of these. I need these. One thing I didn't mention before, Power Wrist actually increases your strength, so I have like no reason to really sub off of it for now. We get a couple of emergency candies. We spent all of our money, but it's kind of worth it. We're gonna get some of it back. Hope you're also, also, also vibing the Yippie mod for Bugs and Lethal Company. I don't know what that means at all, Kirk. You wrote that, I have no idea what that means. I don't play Le Lethal Company. <laughs> I just looked at that and I was like, that might as well have been written in something else. I had no idea what that meant. But hopefully you enjoy Lethal Company if you play it. Okay, so now we just need to get through here, which we should be able to. Please move, move, come on, come on. Oh, come on, this is not what I want. Man, this sucks. I hate when they get stunlocked like that. There's nothing I can do. So unfortunate, that owl is such a troll. So now I think I gotta go through the seasons again. Let's go through again. I think because I exited, it didn't count as a full loop. Game, please. Oh, why are they just standing there? I'm, I'm gonna have to tell them to do something else. I don't know what they're doing other than driving me wild. Please move. Me being silenced is fine. Oh, I'm confused. Actually, that's less fun. Please, please move. Please don't die. I'm, I am not navigating this well, unfortunately. Okay, now we should be good. I just had to go in a big circle. 
So let's go this way to avoid the enemies, and hopefully we should be fine. Now something should happen. There. Honestly, Axe is so strong I might be able to get a kill by myself on this. And again, this is more backup in case I level something else. Please don't hit me with the spell. I did kill you at least. GA leveled, nice. Um... Sure, I'll take another safety heal. Okay, so now we've made it to the other place. I'm back! Oh, what the? The village is in shambles! What on earth happened? Hey, something's there! It's a boss fight. Oh, come on, seriously? OBS, please, not today. Okay. So, with this boss specifically, what we're gonna do is I'm going to use Earth Slide a lot, and then I'm gonna hopefully recover all my MP and HP. And then we need to hold on to our stuff for a little bit. So let's go ahead and start spamming. We're just gonna go ahead and spam. This boss has a little bit of a... Power slot indeed. Boss has a little bit of an invulnerability frame. If I hit its head by accident, it's not gonna let me do enough damage. There we go. So I did, mixed in a couple of melee hits just to boost our damage, and that was enough to get the kill. So that was a pretty fine boss fight. And we've almost leveled all the weapons I'm going to level before the end of the game with the protagonist already. Ooh, the sprite leveled again, so I got an extra MP. That's actually good. So the reason I wanted more MP, just for clarity, we're coming up to a spell that costs... Oh, I actually didn't level at that time. So we're coming up to a spell that costs four to use, and I need to be able to use it at least three times, or the next boss is going to be horrendously terrible. Just FYI. So I'm glad we got the levels. So those random kills did help. Now let's talk to you. Ugh. Grandpa! Ugh, sounds like... Sat you little tyke. Grandpa, can't you see me? Empire's men came and undid the wind seal. My flash stunned me. The others there. This is awful. No, they must have escaped. I suppose so. <laughs> Grandpa. Oh, okay, okay. Tyke. These sprites are a part of mana. The beast couldn't have beat couldn't have beat us. The humans are breaking seals and releasing monsters which are consuming our source of life, mana. I'll put a stop to that immediately. These two can help. We dot dot dot. I'd go with you if I could see better. At least take Sylphid, the wind elemental with you. Look at those little puffy pants as he kicks in the air. You called, master? These young people are now your master. It is so. Gain Sylphid's powers. Is Gramps okay, like, mentally? Probably not. Use Analyzer to learn what magic works on crystal orbs. Use magic on the orb in this far to open the way to Matango. It said a white dragon lives in the cave north of Matango. The dragon can help you. Go now and worry not about me. Grandpa, everyone, I'll be back soon. Me too. Come back whenever you're tired. Let me fix you up. Shall I save your game? Yes. Okay, so we're going to abuse him for a little bit. Take care. So, he refills MP. I need to get more Walnuts at some point, and we need to level Axe a little more. So let's now not get trolled by RNG damage. So now that we're here, what we need to do is have her spam magic so she gets better at stuff. I could level Sylphid stuff, but there's literally no point. There's no point. None of these do damage, if you notice, so it's like Analyzer is not going to get stronger with levels. Balloon is okay. I'm not going to use Thunder Spear ever over Earth's Sword. Or excuse me, Stone Saber. So if I just want to level it, I could just cast Defender repeatedly. Since we need to level here, let's go ahead and just spam Silence.
There we go. So we need this to level up or else we will not do enough damage when it comes to the boss fight later. Spell levels are extremely important in this game. They're almost as broken as leveling in Terranigma. Ooh, silence costs... I can only get six per. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh, didn't quite get the kill. Got the kill there. Okay, so what's our X XP looking like? I need it to be about 50. So yeah, it's, it's about 50 already. So we'll get a couple more kills here. I guess I could showcase the glitch without... Well, it's not really a glitch, but I could showcase what happens if you cast magic while talking with somebody. So we're gonna go back up here because I need to level. Non-negotiable, non I'm not going forward until we level. Or I'm not gonna do enough damage. Especially with me being slightly underleveled. So if I do something like this... I can cancel the last part of the animation. I don't think that actually applied the magic though. Let's try this again. Hmm, maybe it only works for the, the cannon guy easily. Because I see I jab instead of actually talking to him, which is interesting. Or he's just finicky in general. Maybe he's just finicky in general. Let me try this one more time, but from up here. That time I think she was just too close. So if I leave her more like over there, this might work. Okay, that kind of worked. But I gotta time it a little better. There we go. So you can cancel the animation for it and you don't have to be locked in place. So if you just want to quickly level her, you could just spam spells and <laughs> just talk to him repeatedly. So if you really want those level 9s, you could do that to cancel your animation and it's like screen transitioning and then you could refill your MP. Just somewhat useful. So I would like to get a little more levels here. Because I think the cheapest spell costs two. And just be aware, when they're in the startup of their cast animation, they're also invincible. So I could technically tell the girl to cast a spell. If I thought she was about to take big damage. Sounds like Sylphid just leveled. We're gonna go back and get it. And then we're gonna check our weapon level with Axe. It's at 45. As I said before, this is the backup in case I mess it up. I'm gonna put it pretty close. So I'm gonna get a couple more kills here and then we'll move on. Oh. Stupid red lights. So essentially between Knuckle and Sword, I should get the remaining uh, 80 or so points. But just in case, Axe will help smooth things over. So now if we look at the Axe level, 63 is pretty good. So I have two things at 60, four things at 80. So that would be um, by itself, I think, 420. And then I have two Sword levels already and some other assorted XP. So I could get one more kill, and I think I will. And I'll have her level up the Stone Saber, as I said before. I really just like it for its utility. It's just a shame that it, it does cost a lot to potentially spam. Does she have a cheaper thing that I can spam? I think just Defender, right? Yeah, just Defender. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Glitch the graphics because it took the Defender sprite by accident. There we go, Chan. Already broke the glitchless rule. See, so yeah, I'm gonna have her spam this a couple times. Okay. So maybe it'll hit level 3 at some point. 
So we're gonna go forward with what we have here. I think my levels are fine. I'm probably like maybe... I'm still probably slightly under leveled, but it's definitely not like on bare minimum level either. I don't remember if I activated the seed here. I should probably do this before I forget to do this. Yeah, we did not receive the seed's power. That would have been kind of funny. Just going later in the game and like, why is my sword not good? What happened? Oops. Forgot to talk to the seed. So I believe now we should be good to go. I need like maybe one more kill. Probably. Probably kill these two. Nice. Oops. One more kill. Perfect, that's at 81. So now I have five at 81. So I think no matter what happens here, I'm set for the game. As long as I don't level Axe by accident, unpartially intended, should be good. So let's go back to Sword. Does more damage anyway. Fifty at golden side. That's good. We're gonna need that. Chi I leveled. Nice. I don't know why I'm trying to fight things. Let's not bother. So let's go over here. I remember it is air slasher or air blast. Excuse me. Indeed it is. I could analyze, but that costs MP, and I don't feel like analyzing. Ooh, nice. Ooh, please get over here. There we go. Hmm. I believe our goal is up here somewhere, if I remember correctly. Oh, I just wanted to leave screen before I cast. Unfortunate. Might have to do kind of like a serpentine, though. Yeah. So we'll keep going up. I'm basically looking for a cave. And that's how I know I'm in the right direction. Maybe, oh, I see the entrances over there. <sighs> get past the crab. Please don't get- please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. I beg of you, please don't get stuck in this area. I'm gonna die so fast. Keep in mind, we haven't upgraded armor in like an eternity. Alright, I'm gonna tell you to be quiet. Oh, she doesn't have axe equip. Oh, I forgot. Oh, uh, I guess I swapped into it by accident after I did the sword. I definitely meant for that to be axe afterwards. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> We're through the scary room. Could have gone worse. Like others of our kind, we're peaceful. Welcome to Matango. That's right, chat. We're in the Mushroom Kingdom. Take that, Mario. We say Matango to greet each other. Matango, chat. I'm sure King Truffle can help you. The forest has become a dangerous place. Gonma means goodbye. Not leaving yet, I hope. Oh, we know about Gauntlet means goodbye. Did I miss you? Oh, maybe I missed you. We aren't equipped to fight monsters. There we go. Yeah, King Truffle over the mushroom people. So I think I got enough gold to rest here. This is Fung Castle, home of King Truffle chat. There you go, the puns. Still not equipped to fight monsters. There should be a little shop here. Let's see what you sell. 2,000 gold is not bad. Oh, you sell cheap fairy walnuts. Oh. Oh. That makes my life way easier. Okay, so now we're maxed. 
Get a safety candy. Couple safety candies. Okay, I'm feeling a little better. I, I was worried if I'd have to buy more for the playthrough, if it was another 1,000, that would have been kind of tight. But really good to know he sells the cheap walnuts. So I could have held off on one walnut purchase, technically. Uh, if I remember correctly, there is a item around here somewhere. Let's save first. Also, by the way, chat, we're gonna have to make two saves. Do you want to know why? There's yet another glitch. <laughs> so I'm gonna save, so that way I don't have to do the magic of save states within the game itself. So let's make sure to save twice. Yes, I would like to save here. Can I just save without using the N? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave the glitch file there for now. But uh, we're gonna be coming back to this. I'll give you a hint. It has to do with the room we're not allowed to go into, allegedly. Let's talk to you. This man's told me all about you. All about, one word. You, thought you'd already left. Okay, which one's ready? Well, I would love the sword upgrade, but I don't think that's gonna happen, sadly. Talk to you. The king's inside. Sure. All right, I'm thinking of over here. There's definitely a weapon orb over here. Because I remember being confused why it was in here. Like, what is the lore? Like, they're not prepared to fight, but they got the glove orb, right? Oh, javelin orb. Sure. So now if I have to use the javelin on the protagonist for damage, I think I'm okay. Because I'll have five weapons at 80. So that's 400 by itself. I already have 12 times two, I think, from the sword, and another 12 from the knuckle. I could also give the weapon, the punch weapon, a couple of kills if I want. So that way, if I accidentally level javelin, it should be fine. But anyway, let's try going down here. Oh, we can. Never mind. Not a real door. I saw the white dragon. They're supposed to be extinct. Legend has it that a mana beast took on the fortress. Animals similar to mana beasts live in our world. Sometimes you see them flying through the woods. Oh, we did see them earlier. Our ancestors rode flying animals. White dragons, I believe. Amazingly, a white dragon was spotted yesterday in a cave to the north. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk to you. Gobelman says, King Truffle is a splendid ruler. However, he's reckless. I like Truffle with the, the beard thing. Here at last, the legendary knight. We go, huh? You don't think we have legends here like everywhere else? Riding a white dragon and wielding the sword, they shall save the world. That's you guys, right? I knew it right away. Just yesterday, one of my people saw a white dragon fighting a huge snake. Use the first floor exit on the right for the cave. Alice, I know where it is, but first find the cave. Then I'll tell you how to reach the palace. Oh, and there's something upstairs for you. Yeah, we got the upstairs already. Oh, the guard moved out of the way. You may pass, chat. Ooh, this is gonna be fun, fun, fun. I need them to really follow me. Can you not get stuck on stuff? I need you to like really, really carefully follow me. Ooh. Okay, that was that was pretty uneventful. That's good. I wanna see uneventful journeys through the dungeon chat. I do not want to be caught fighting things. Oh, okay, okay, we got through. I, I was contemplating if it was worth casting a spell. Please, please go by them, please go by them, please go by them, don't melee. Okay, whew. <laughs> every time, Chad, I get scared every time, and I have rifle, I have an absolute reason to get scared. Actually, let's swap into the fist weapon. That seemed like pretty free experience, although killing him with the fist didn't even level the fist. Oh no, I think we leveled too much. Unfortunate. 
Anyway, back to the whip for you. And then back to the sword with you. I almost was worried I did the charge glitch by accident. Not gonna lie. Let's go here. <sighs> Silence is okay there. Si oh, getting confused is not. Getting confused is absolutely not okay. Uh, need, okay. Okay, we'll take that, we'll take that. Definitely need to whip across before something bad happens. Oh. I just realized I forgot to get an item. Uh, do I go back for it? That's such a tough call, I'm not sure. I could have gotten an item which would help me with this boss significantly. Ooh, do I try the boss without the item? Hmm. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. It opens me up to some bad things happening to me though. So I mentioned before, there's an item you can use to, cam to cancel damage against you. I technically could have gotten it already. I needed to, I think, fight the spinners and then, or the little, the, the little Sonic the Hedgehog things, whatever they're called in the game, and then I would have been fine. That's not good. Okay. Well, we're almost at the exit. I think I just have to get a little further here. You know what? Oh, no, 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 just move, just move a little bit. There we go, just a little bit. Want to get off of the screen as quickly as possible. I don't want them casting spells at me. That looks like an exit. Is there something over here? Nope, let's, you know what? Let's not worry about it. Okay, knocked him over, that's good. Uh, I don't remember what your weakness is, so we're going to have to check. Game, please do not, controller, please do not menu randomly. It might be Earth Slide. Seriously, she did she not cast? Chat, you all saw me cast it. <laughs> I went into the menu. She's like, nah. Okay, what do you need? What do you need? All right, so it's any Earth magic. That's fair. I will use Gem Missile. Oh, it's a specific spell. Seriously? It's so annoying. Fine, then it's our slide. Alright, so now we open the way to the boss. Game is scaring me with the uh, attack loops on me. Let's cure everybody. So I'm out of the kill range, hopefully, here. So we gotta go back down, and I think back to the left. Oh, I'm being attacked so bad. Please get off me. No! <laughs> Help me, companions! I need you to do something. Please go. Please go. Please go. Okay, the music change is a good sign. I'm gonna cheaply just ice you, just so I could get through this. Seriously? They targeted the party leader and they confused me. That is literally the worst thing that could have happened, because I can't do anything when that happens. That is so bad. Holy game, please. Can I... Can you please stop? Thank you. Just need to get through here. I'm tempted to use freeze magic to try to get through this. I just need them to cooperate a little longer. Okay, was that all I needed to activate this? I missed that, that's fine. It's fine. Please, oh, just stop getting stuck, come on. Okay, was there something over here I had to do? Wait, no, no, no. Oh no, that wasn't, oh no, was there more than one thing I had to hit? Well, that sucks. I thought it opened the passageway here, that's why I went back here, chat, just for clarity. Unfortunate. 
So I do not want to... If I have to go back, I will escape rope and I will go back to the other place. Just gotta... Gotta try to protect my characters. Oh my gosh, game, please. Please, 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 please just go through. Please, 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 please go through. I'm begging you. Come on. Let her go. Leave her alone. Okay, so what did I miss? I thought that's what we needed to progress. Maybe we had to go down here for some reason? Okay. This is fine so far. Oh, boss. Um... So, I only have enough to ca- I only have enough to cast one hit here. Please don't hit me. That's fine if I get hit. It's not the end of the world. I just need you to cast a spell right now. Or not. Okay. Just don't- Don't buffer my spell at all. Make my life miserable. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, chat. I just need you to cast spells before it gets out of hand. Please cast a spell. I'm- I'm begging you. I used the spell menu twice. Please cast the spell that I've told you to cast. If we stun the boss, we're fine. We just need to stun the boss, and the game is not cooperating. Thank you. Now I can walnut. So he's off screen, I don't think I could target him. Maybe I can. No, he's off screen still, technically. Even though I see his head, he's not targetable. There we go. It's almost dead. We are definitely going to feed it another walnut. I got pig mead. I might kill. Almost. It's also very hard to see the sprite's animation with that occurs. But it should be close. This is also why I wanted to level up the magic. There we go. So the boss battle went mostly fine, aside from getting pygmy in. But that's fine. Got the sword orb. I'm always scared. I'm like, man, whenever they whenever the AI gets caught on the enemies is the scariest thing in the world. <laughs> Pathing, please. I think it wouldn't be too bad if you were allowed to separate from your allies, but the fact that they could get stuck on stuff and it holds you in place, that does really suck. This is the legendary white dragon? Its parents must have been beaten by that serpent. It won't make it if we leave it here. It's way too big for us to carry. Let's ask Truffle. <laughs> what do you mean, ask Truffle? Are we making Truffle carry it? What, what was my takeaway from that question and statement? Oh, well, they beat up. The dragon beat us here, apparently. Only slow you down, so I'll raise him. King Truffle, quiet, you. You three get going, and I'll take good care of them. By the way, how do you like the name Flammy? <laughs> we have Ugg and not bad. Hang on. I sound like an idiot. You'd agree with me whether you like the name or not. So let's call him Flammy and be done with it. Deal with it, chat. We're not allowed to name him. And in Travel is now open again in the forest to the south. You find the fireplace somewhere in the desert of Akara. Or Kakara? I'm not sure how to say that. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and get some seeds. Actually, question. How much money do I do I have enough for a sword or I think I do. Yeah. Wait, I have enough for the sword upgrade. So that that's our backup weapon. If I have to fight a boss, that will be probably my last upgrade for a while. The rest will just go towards walnuts and healing. <laughs> it's 
literally literally our entire thing like i i'm not gonna bother with uh defensive items there's a couple i'll eventually get but i'd rather have the revives to be honest with you so we need to kill something in order to get more money that's okay question though Okay, so she still has her MP, right? At least one MP. Let's find out together. Oh, she's got six. Yeah, that's fine. So let's go kill something real quick. But we'll come back, save, and then we'll showcase a glitch. Because <laughs> of course, John, of course there's a glitch. Do you mind? Do a little saber action here. I'm gonna tell our allies to be aggressive. I still have to get used to the menus. The menus, the fact I can't flip left and right really blows my mind. I really don't like the menus there. Let's have them on keep away but high attack and see how that works. Is that should make them a bit more aggressive because when I'm just casually going through areas, I don't want them to be aggressive. Now would be an example where I could level fist a little more. Let's see if that leveled the fist up. Nope. But it's possible I don't have any more... Yeah, that's that's probably fun. Maybe it needs to actually level up in order for it to go higher than one. I can't say I remember the mechanics, it's been too long, but we should have enough money now. So let's go resave, get our MP. And then we're gonna showcase something. So, so far, I'm feeling okay. I have all my recovery items maxed. Max walnuts. We have a we have a couple safety levels. I'm definitely higher level than I need to be. We're not anywhere near where you would where you would be if you had fought enemies all the way here, though. We are hilariously undergeared when it comes to equipment. Just so chat is aware. We have not upgraded since the other area. Oh, what happened there? Oh, that's a glitch. Wait, how did that happen? Oops. <laughs> they were not sleeping in the bed properly there. Well, there's another glitch for you, chat. Have fun with that, I guess. <laughs> they were like, they're like, they're, the sprite's head was just sleeping in the open. I don't think that's supposed to work like that. So let's uh showcase something real quick, because of course. So I made a save a while ago, if you recall correctly. Did you see something we weren't supposed to? The bodies to get erased. Well, chat, we did this before, but let's recap the glitch. If we rapidly swap, we're allowed to basically take a small step every frame when I switch between who I'm controlling. So if I mash this, I think I could get past him. The question is, where do I do it? Oh, does it not work on him then? I thought you could get past them that way. Maybe there's another trick to it. Oh. Oh, wait, there we go. There we go. I had to talk to him first. There we go. So we could have skipped that whole dialogue with the king. <laughs> just by the way. Just could just could have gone there. We didn't we didn't need to actually go through any of the plot. Listen, the guards, the guards are more of a suggestion in this game. Like when they're saying like, don't go past this place. It's just like, yeah, just. So if you talk to them, then you swap. Yeah, then you could go through. <laughs> nice. So it's possible we could have done that in Pandora Castle, maybe. But yeah, those guards are slackers, chat. They're absolute slackers. Tell them to do better. Okay, now I definitely want to go back for the other item because I was feeling it a little bit there. So, as I said before, if something targets us with spells, which you saw was a lot of things on the way there, um, there are ways to dodge what's happening to you, but you need items for it, or if it's damage, you need specific spells. 
or a specific healing item. We don't have a specific healing item yet. But we should be good to go. So what I'm going to do is hopefully not die to the random uh, millions. Don't sleep flower me. You know what? Them being somewhat aggressive here is actually helpful. Oh, ugh, it's like a combo. Unfortunate. No, 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 no. Stop fighting whatever you're fighting. It's fine. <laughs> just, just come with me. We can leave them alone. Okay, so where do you take us? To the desert. Okay, so this is where the cannon person is. So we're going to come back here. I actually don't want to go here yet. So we're going to remember we just take a little detour right. Because I missed something earlier, I'm going to go this way first. I just want to go in a way that I'm comfortable. I'm sure there's ways I could go from the other areas to where I want to go. But I'd rather not accidentally have to fight a boss or something in between. So let's just avoid that issue. So what I actually want to do is probably level magic again with this character since I got some time. I do have to use air blast a little bit more. Let's just go ahead and level what we can. Since I know I'm going to go back to a point where I can... Actually, you know what? I might as well just get kills while we're here. Since I know I'm going to get to a point where I'm going to get to an inn anyway. The more uses I have here, the easier things are for me. Num new level. Nice. Magic skill up. Hit level 2. Okay. So that kind of prepares me for the future a little bit. Now I just need to spam more earth use, because I might need earth slide in the future. And she could just keep leveling Cure Magic or whatever she wants to give us, or Earth Saber, honestly. It's her Saber OP. Nice. Uh, do that, then you could do... Probably a couple more Earth Spells, as I said before. We will probably end up near maxing uh, Undine, but it doesn't hurt for the other ones to be slightly stronger, just in case. Something leveled. I don't like weapon level up. My sword skill leveled up. Interesting. Well, that's a good sign for us, I think. So again, because they're set to aggressive, we should be doing a ton of damage here. Now, interestingly... Ooh, I, I can... Okay, I can do it. Let's go for the glitch, then. Well, I call it a glitch. It's an intended mechanic, but it's really funny. It's... I, it's... It looks like it shouldn't do that much damage, but it's technically working as expected. So let's go ahead and travel. What I'm gonna do is, right before talking to him, I'm gonna have her do the little buff. There we go. That's what I wanted to do before. Let's go to Guy's Navel. So that way I can reapply the saber while canceling some of the animation. And the reason I want to go back here is because I'm aware there's an item we can pick up that's going to make my life way less stressful. <laughs> Going through that whole area without being able to cancel spells was a nightmare. So let's go pick it up now. We're also getting some safety cash because we killed some enemies on the way there. A little bit of safety XP. See how it died instantly there? Thank you, Earthsaber. You're the best, Earthsaber. Slash Stone Saber. You can just kill enemies while landing from the cannon. It's quite unfair. It's as strong as you think it would be. So Juan has actually permanently left his area there. I guess that's fair. So another big reason... I was using spells earlier. is that I'm just going to use the inn that's here anyway. Oh, is that not can't is that not counting towards it? I feel like she should have leveled by now. I'll let the animation finish. Maybe maybe that does cancel the XP. Cuz I feel like it's been forever since we leveled. 
Or not levels, since we got the, uh... Actually, no. The magic level did not increase, is what I meant to say. Oh, well. We need it to be level zero. It, do it doesn't matter. If, if it happens to level, it's all just for safety. It just makes your cure magic stronger. That's about it. But anyway, now if we talk to the elders, something interesting should happen. I'm over here. Thank you. You're safe. Somehow you seem older. Solar Cell, Double says it's a good luck and have fun. We were expecting to level there. Uh, we did, I think, almost 20 uses. So something got eaten in terms of XP. Oh, thanks for dropping by. Take this mallet with you. That's what we used in the show. There we go. We have the midge mallet chant. So, I'm gonna make a correction for something I said last time. You only get half XP if your weapons aren't out. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of weird nuances with the game I'm still kind of discovering, but what I do know is that I'm gonna make a correction with this statement. It doesn't speed up the initial animation of casts, but what it can do for us is if they're small, it'll cancel the ending animation of casts, so it's just way easier to chain fast spells together with this item. Plus, we can use it to cancel damage, so we should be good there. So that will make my life way easier. I will I will intentionally get pig mead for it. So now we just gotta go back to where we were before. <laughs> okay, so now the downside of the AI is here. They're getting stuck on random things. Why don't you go back to here? And why don't you oops go back to here? There we go. I need them to, like, not chase enemies. I don't care if they're, like, slightly aggressive, but they need to not do what they're doing there. I'll kill you just because. <laughs> nice. I love how it says I petrified it, even though I don't have the graphic for it. Yeah, there we go. So I guess I did glitch the graphic briefly. That's always nice. I guess this should be good enough. If I go back to the palace, I should be able to go back to the upper lands. Thanks for visiting Have a Hammer, pretty much. Yes, let's go back to Water Palace. Rip our money. So yeah, the goal is to not level too, too much. I don't generally like grinding in these kinds of games. So we're gonna level like the bare minimum to succeed. That's basically our goal. Hmm. If they are on the way and I one-shot them, I don't really care. Plus they will slow us down if I don't deal with some of them. I like how I'm like canceling the music by attacking. Okay, now we should be able to go back to the upper lands and we should be good. So I'm gonna do something in kind of an unusual order because I've played the game a really long time ago and I remember being annoyed by this. So we have two choices. We could go to Kakara or K Kakara, however it's pronounced. Um, and essentially we'll end up in a desert or we could go to the ice country. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go to the desert area first, but we're not going to complete it. I'm going to do it until we unlock a town. And the reason I want to do this is if we don't do that, if I try going from the ice country back to, let's say, somewhere in the desert, I'm not able to do so and the game will say, huh, I'm out of gunpowder. I sure wish I could take you there. And then it makes you take, like, a really annoyingly long route to go back to where you actually want to go. So by doing it in that order, I don't have to do weird cannon travel movement at all. I should just be able to go right to the next area. So if Chad is wondering why I'm not going to bother completing the area, I'm literally just doing it to unlock the cannon. 
So that way we never have to see that dialogue. So that would make me very happy. Okay, I think like one notch of aggression seems to be working. Or at least the whip user sometimes attacks. Like that. We'll kill them as I said before for golden XP. If we happen to be dealing damage to them. Notice there is a little path to the left there. I think that might be something I need to go to. But I, you know what? I'm here. I might as well just kill the L. Who leveled? Was it me? Yeah, it was me. Cool. Alright, so now I have like more, way more than enough health. So we haven't been buying any armor at all. So whatever we have is whatever we're going to use, essentially, for every fight. We'll eventually get armor when we unlock a better area. But I will not even really be getting armor at the next town either. We're just going to be skipping it. So no thanks. Okay, so if we go right here, we should be back at the place we were at before. And actually, funny enough, I probably want to start burning magic because I happen to recall that we will get a full restore from an event that occurs in the desert. So I'm going to just burn as much magic as I can. Oh, I forgot to do the, the thing again with the saber. I gotta remember, I'm gonna put a note that says, cast saber magic when cannon traveling. But anyway, uh, my goal here is to just burn all my magic because they're going to come back at full HP, full MP. So this will be an excuse to level my magic a little more. I'm probably just going to level Freeze. Put a little, couple things towards Freeze. And we want to burn all the girl's magic because... <laughs> Covered with sand! What a barren place. Let's find a town before we shrivel up. So we're lost in the desert. If we go essentially counterclockwise, we'll find an exit pretty quickly and it'll trigger another event. But I think what I really want to do is something like this. So let's have her earth magic level, I guess. Oh, nice kill. So if we happen to get kills on the way there, that's fine. So we'll go up, left, down, right, and then we'll basically be where we need to go. Let's use some casual magic here. Bubble defender a little bit more. Because if she could get longer usage of the stone saber, that would be super good for us. So here I'm just collecting free XP. If for some reason I was off in weapon XP, I would just level with the weapons that I was missing at this point. Okay. I think she also has a mechanic where she just takes twice as long to level. I think maybe that's what I'm remembering. I don't think it's necessarily weapons away. I think she just literally levels twice as slow as the other character. So I need to remember that. Chia hit level 17, nice. Uh, I'll have her cast Remedy just because. So she should be getting closer, and we're almost out of spells here, which is good. So I guess I'll slightly level speed down again. Okay, so with that out of the way, it'd be mostly good. Ooh, that was such a strong crit. Our sword leveled up? Wow. Nice. So this is good news for us. I think we have everything we need for later. So let's take a look at our weapon levels again. So I have about 48 points there and 5 weapons at 80. So yeah, I have everything I need. So now we should be getting a cutscene here. Indeed we did. So dry. And go on. We're finished! Look, over there, hurry! Now I might as well just get a free kill since I'm here. <laughs> right, Chad? I might as well ask. A little, little bit of bonus money. Speaking of which, what's our money looking like? 2,496? Oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like we're in a safety margin. I can afford to burn some of this on other stuff I don't need. 
Uh, I will state though, chat, that intelligence and strength are pretty important. Uh, we'll be putting on certain armor later to try to buff the sprite's intelligence for spell damage. Oh, I forgot you were there. Hello. That was rude. We're gonna cancel his spell by going, oh, look at us vibrating. <laughs> I think as we're getting earth slided while I'm in a cutscene, I think that's why that happened. A ship, let's go! Also, we just enter the ship through our minds, I guess. What a lifesaver! You, what are you doing here? Only Imperial spies could be so stupid. Oh, oh, little do they know, chat. Little do they know. Give us a break. How rude. What are you doing? Sir, picked up some spies! Hold on, maybe they just got lost. Protagonist go burr. Yeah, I think it was like queuing up the earth slide animation and I technically canceled it. So it'll be funny if I take damage here and die. I'm not sure, chat. I, it might still remember that I'm supposed to take damage from it. That would be a funny way to game over. <laughs> We'd almost given up. I like you, so I'm gonna help you. You'll work the engines. The ship will make the meals and she'll come and she'll come with me. You heard a move! Let's see, chat. Do I take damage out of nowhere? So they're gonna leave the party. Oh, we got full healed. Get to work. Okay, we canceled the damage by cutscening. Nice. I guess that's a glitch? <laughs> Question mark? I technically avoided damage by uh, screen swapping. This is the Republic Secret Sand Ship. Nice. I'm gonna talk to you last, because I know you're plot relevant. Admiral Maria is in command, but his grandson, Mori, calls the shots. Mori would just as soon dump him in the desert. People picked up in the desert are slaves! We have Sergo here. Thar she blows, eh? You're new, huh? I'm Sergo, pirate and scourge of the eight seas. I almost said seven. Close. At least I used to be. The oceans have grown too stormy. I stowed away because I missed my ship so much. I wonder if the oceans will ever be safe again. Okay, so now something should happen if we talk to these people. Oh, not you. So let's talk to these two. Get to work! Huh? You want to escape with your friends? Leave it to me. Go talk to those guards by the stairs. You, get back to your post! Fire! Fire! What? Out of my way! Where's the fire? Well, you guys are stupid. Uh, If I remember, there is a save point here. It might be where the guard is. I think it is. So this ship, I remember when I was growing up, chat. I'm gonna let you know. I did not see the door that's right here for the longest time. I thought that was just the wall. So rip to me, Chad. I got lost in forest maze, couldn't find the door. GG. Yeah, that's a door. It's very rude. I would like to state they could have made it a slightly different color. The only thing that really indicates that it's a door is more the blinking light. Like, there's very, very, very little other details other than that. Okay, so we can make a save here. And I think I will. So we have everything we need, so I don't mind making a save here. Technically, I could make myself in an unwinnable situation, but I have four fairy walnuts. I don't really care. Let's see. Commander Mori's orders. No one may enter. You've been defeated by the door your whole life, huh? Pretty, pretty much. Metamore is yours. No one may enter. Um, okay. Curiosity. Oh, I can't do it with just one character. So I think we have to find the... Before we go further, we have to go to the sprite slash Numnu. Numnu should be, like, around here in this door. Stop lollygagging. Phew! This is like paradise in here, eh, buddy? He ate up all the ship's food. Is that your friend? Show him out of here. He ate up all the ship's food. Couldn't ugh, eat another thing. There we go, chat. You know what, chat? I'm also kind of curious about something. I don't think it'll impact the dialogue very much. 
But I'm curious if we can clip through those guards. I've never tried before. Now that we have another party member chat, let's see if it's possible. <laughs> Safety save. It doesn't matter because we have to go here for plot reasons anyway. I'm just kind of curious. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just want to experiment. We're already here. Can I just clip through these? Oh, uh, I think talking to them will not let me do it. That's a, that's unfortunate. Help! Rats have eaten all the food! We're finished! Okay. So since I couldn't initiate dialogue with them, I couldn't skip them. Rats, huh? There we go. Num new pulling a num new prank chat. Massage my back. I'd rather have my gums scraped. Spoiled brat. I oughta. Maria says, Mori, how dare you? But Grandpa, she's being a... Hmm. Oh wait, Maria's a guy's name? You got me on that one. You got me on that one. Never in a million years would I have thought that, but I guess looking at the graphic. You're pathetic. Woman, get out of here. Jerks. Mike, glad to see you. They've escaped. This is your fault, Gramps. I, um, escapees. Grab them. Vibrations chat. What the? The Empire. Ah, let's surrender. You idiot. You're no soldier. To arms. No way. We're with Mori. Anyway, that was a quick mutiny. So let's talk to these people because we can. Nuts. Surrender. Surrender. Nuts. There you go, chat. The deep, the deep lore and dialogue is Secret Nevada right there. You look somewhat familiar. Hmm. Didn't think I'd see you here. You must be the ones Thanatos warned me about. <laughs> oh, you you, were, you got something to be warned about in a moment. How about a little game? It's a long chumps. Hi, chat. Well, normally we would have to deal with him motorbiking everywhere, but uh, spoilers, I'm not going to worry about that. We're just gonna go ahead and have a little bit of fun. Let's make sure we're fast casting too, just to like rub it in his face how dead this character is. Let's see, is this good enough damage? We'll do one more. Okay, not enough. And we'll go ahead and use a walnut here. And even if it doesn't pan out, that's fine. He's fed up. Sure, it'd be a shame if I had to deal with that. Are you really not going to cast the spell that I just told you to cast? Oh, annoying. There we go. Oh, we level up freeze. Nice. Uh, you know what? Since I'm here, I might as well use the girl's magic. Why not? Why don't you use Defender or something on yourself? <laughs> this is fair, right, chat? The absolute lockdown. So use a couple of her spells, because why not? Uh, is that max damage? It is. Okay. <laughs> Didn't matter. So chat, the, the damage limit is 999, so the end game of Secret of Mana is... Do you remember the stats well enough to know if you've done 999 yet or not? And you can speed it up by doing some weapon slashes. But we do have to drop the combo occasionally. Oh, Numnu leveled again. Nice. Whip Orb. Okay. But yeah, that, that was pretty, pretty brutal. I think Chat can agree. Rescue team's coming. Are you leaving? No. What a mess. Everyone's run away. What? You're Gemma's friends. Then you're... I must apologize for my grandson's actions. I must have forgotten how a true soldier acts. Oh, my beautiful ship. Shameful. 
Talk to Sergo. Let me know if you need jobs. Hmm. Chie's magic faded. Emerald will become the knight you... You used to be. Okay, let's go over here. Go north to the Kenya Kakura. Then west to the Fire Palace. Oh, I want to go north. Okay. Uh, sadly, chat. I haven't unlocked a way to showcase another glitch yet. I might have to play separately if I want to showcase it. There is weird skips you could do in the desert, but it requires weapon levels, which obviously we haven't really been focusing on. But out of curiosity, just looking at her general stats. OBS, please. Let's go ahead and check her weapon levels out. Okay, so she is getting at least somewhat close with with the gnome. We'll see how it goes from there. I'm assuming OBS is coming back. Hopefully it is. It's been very unstable lately, sadly. So I might have to cancel bonus streams, because I definitely do not want to deal with this on bonus stream day. But anyway, back to what we were talking about before. So she's at 2 out of 80. Let's go scientifically check how much she gains from using it while not in combat and compare in a moment. So she should be at presumably 82 or more? Let's find out. Oops, wrong menu. So she's now at 83. Interesting. So that would require quite a lot of cast to level again. So she is very grindy. I don't intend to max most of her stuff. Well, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna find the soldier that says we can move on. So we gotta go to the north and then we're good. The north of the kingdom, the west of the palace, don't need to worry about that. So this area is kind of cruel. There's just kind of like random... They call them spider legs, but they're more like antelions. Not really sure why they call them that. Okay, so she's about to get dunked on. But what if I said no? So see that chat? I canceled the spell damage there intentionally. Hope you enjoyed that. So if any enemy tries to do the little nonsense with boulders, we wave the we wave our little finger at them and go, no no no. Spell doesn't count. <laughs> so if you if you queue up enough effects, you could kind of cancel spell damage on yourself. And that's going to make the rest of the game much easier. So we have almost all the tools we need to basically cheese everything. Um, but we're not doing too bad. Salamando's gone. He lived in the Fire Palace. Welcome to Kakara. You are the real merchant, I believe. Indeed you are. What'll it be? Well, we used the walnut, so we'll buy one of these. Tiara, raccoon cap. I don't believe any of these are relevant. Silver band, I think, gives a status resist. It's been a really long time. It's not easy to check these things in game if chat is wondering. I would have to literally look it up <laughs> if I wanted to see what it did. Like, I'm pretty sure this has an effect, and I think raccoon cap has an effect. I don't think golden tiara has an effect. So a lot of it is just kind of like a do you notice? <laughs> not not the best when it comes to equipment. Well, anyway, is there stating in the village? Salamando is gone, so we can't actually do anything at the Fire Palace, even if we wanted to do something. So we're just going to quickly rest up. We want to continually level Freeze Magic. So I think our spell usage is okay right now. Like, it felt like we were doing the right amount of damage to that boss. But the higher the freeze is, the less casts I need. If we fight enemies that don't have any elemental weakness or we're not sure, freeze is the cheapest spell, and it's really easy to level up. So someone's name is Salamando. What's more, the fire seed is gone. Okay. Mar says, Candy, listen you, I'm King of Mar. But I have worse problems. Our water's gone, and some guy named Gemma said, the mana seed's been stolen from the palace to the west. Funny enough, Chad, there is a giant slide in the Fire Temple that basically takes you to near the end, back to the beginning. If you were to get up that ramp in reverse with very careful charge attack placement and AI placement, uh, you don't have to worry about retrieving the, the seed. It's just there. <laughs> so, so it's kind of like Schrodinger's Fire Seed. It is both there and not there, depending on what you do to enter that temple. Wells have dried up. 
about to pass out from the heat. Uh, do I feel like leveling anything because we have spare cash? I mean, I could level whip, I guess. Level axe because. Level whip again just because. I definitely want to level javelin for later. And I'll level knuckle in case it needs it to level. Ah, right. hold on to the rest of my money for now. So in case I feel like actually fighting enemies, we do some decent damage now. So now, Chad, if we talk to him, we can now go straight to Ice Country. If we don't do that, I have to go to Batango, and then I have to go back there, which is just kind of unnecessary steps. But before we do that, let's remember to glitch it out a little. By glitch, it just means skip an animation. I am still really not comfortable with the menus. That's something that even by the end of the game, I will still probably mess up. So apologies for everybody that is cringing internally and me not being able to menu. Let's go to ice country now. So we've done what we needed to do. So now that we've completed the, uh, basically the excursion on the airship, we could go back here whenever we want from the ice country. So we're skipping an annoying blockade to prevent you from shortcutting back here. So we can't do anything here anyway. So we might as well go to Ice Country. Now this place is potentially very deadly to us. But we have good supplies. And then a little bit of spare cash in case I need to get more walnuts, which we do at some point. There's a strange old man in the ice forest, says Walrus Man. It's growing unbearably warm, says the walrus. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, there we go. I I guess this is a glitch? They forgot to put collision on the bridge. So you can just walk onto the water briefly. But only from there. You can't go from the sides. I guess, I guess we'll count that. <laughs> walrus man. Let's see what they have for sale comparatively. Oh, and they also have Chief Fairy Walnuts here. Wow, they really do have everything. It's kind of unfair. So anyway, if we do need to restock, we can go back here or the Desert Country. Both of them have cheaper stuff. Basically, just don't... Don't use the cat unless you're really desperate, because the cat overcharges you. The cat's just in a convenient location. So sorry, Neko. talk to you. I'm starved. Let's grow up. Oh, we've talked to you before. Let's take a look at the equipment that I don't plan on buying. Oh, Watts is here. How do you beat us here? Uh, keep your weapons powered up? Nah, I think I'm good. This is the Reaper's power. <laughs> Show us Fennel, sure. I'm the town blacksmith. Who's this creep? Oops. Oh, well, we might as well just keep exploring. So for those that have not played the game before, what? who do you think the big bad of this area is going to be? Paradise is hidden in the crystal forest. Yeah, we'll get to that paradise at some point. The creep is fettel. He is the true blacksmith. I think you're new. So anyway. Let's proceed forward. This area is potentially extremely deadly to me. Thinking about if I want to change my weapons up at all. Ooh, that crit though is sick. That crit was so good. Oh, I should have, I should not have picked that up. I didn't even get to see what it was. Andy. Okay, that should save me. Oh, there we go. There is why Cure Water is there. See that? I had two characters at zero, but because I cast before I died, I was able to escape. These wolves mean serious business, by the way. I'm gonna hopefully get one more kill here. Nice. Rudolph says, help, my master's gone. No one in the ice palace. Oh, no one's in the ice palace except a monster. The master's got no, the monster's got master. Help! That's right, chat. We have to save Rudolph. 
Of course. Who else would be in the snow area? Let's go rob Santa. Spear orb, sure. <laughs> Mine now, Santa. I'm not waiting for the sleigh. <laughs> I know, it's just Rudolph for some reason. So hold on, chat. We're coming up to one of my favorite enemy names in the game. We gotta get a little further, though. That was a good crit. See, this is why I leveled the sword. Just want to bully them a little bit. Okay, let's move forward. I want to read the sign, but the enemy is right there. Okay, so that's how I kick it back if I need to. It's around here somewhere, chat. Ooh, not a good place. Let's run, run, run. So we're just looking to navigate the maze. Oh, they interrupted my attack. That sucks. Nope. Let's go this way. There it is. Chat, its name is L.A. Funk. Of course it is. What else would it be, chat? Um... I'm gonna have you heal us a little bit. I don't know why it's called L.A. Funk. Gotta be a little careful here. I could get damage racked up on me. Nice level up. So these stats are more just so I get HP. And okay, we're gonna use... I probably need to level this a little more, so let me just keep spamming this. Airbus being level 2 is nice. Dumb new leveling is good. Please stop hitting me. So I can't access the menu when I'm struck down like that, so it does stop me from spellcasting with my allies, which can be kind of annoying. Uh, I believe I'm coming up to a place where I could get another walnut, so I think I'm just going to spam some magic just to level it a little more. Because it's already doing decent damage, but what if more damage? We'll do... Actually, speaking of which... Curiosity. So let's take a look at the what she needs to level with Undine. So it's at 51. What if I do it here? How much does this add now that we're in combat? So it heals for a decent amount, but how much did that actually add to the amount for Curiosity? Added seven? Okay. Interesting. I found the boss by accident. Oops. Oops. <laughs> right, chat? Big, big oops. I am not ready for the boss. I don't have what I need. Uh, well, time to cast some freeze, I guess. Why did my spell get cancelled there? That was weird. Alright, so what we're gonna do... Is I'm gonna pygmy him, so that way we can cast faster, and then we should be fine. I was hoping to level freeze just a little more before we got here, but that's fine. It's- Oh, it walked into- Oh, why is it being a- Oh, hold on. I guess I left like one point of aggression on. I really don't want the sprite being aggressive here, and it won't let me do anything. That really sucks. Please don't die. Menu, 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 menu! <laughs> I'm mashing the menu button. Okay, there we go. Should be able to do something in a second. 
I think what I'm gonna do is have you heal yourself so you don't die, because you're probably gonna kill yourself. Did I lose all my healing items? Really? I thought I had more candies than that. That sucks. Alright, so I'm gonna have her group heal. As I said before, I thought the boss was like a couple screens away. I was going to Walnut before we did anything serious here. We're almost done with the fight, despite me getting into surprise boss battle. So we should be fine. Oh, that's not what I wanted to target. That sucks. Need to make sure I'm not casting as the character, or else I go slower. So yeah, unfortunately, I think I'm just like slightly under level with freeze. I was hoping to level it literally once before we got into this fight. That's fine. So I'll kill the character. Should be good, I think. Hey. Oh, he's not targetable yet. Now he is. Oh, he already died. That's fair. We'll take that. So yeah, I was hoping to get one more freeze level. I was literally just gonna fight a couple things. I was thinking the merchant was there. Because remember, the merchant is in a place I have to go slightly upwards to get to. So I was gonna just burn my magic. Grab a fairy walnut and then do that. <laughs> it was not, that was not what I wanted. That's fine though. We still got through it. Uh, before we do anything with this place, let's talk to these people. Money's better than mana. You can't beat this place. So glad my wife found this place. Okay. Yeah, so we need to level freeze a little more. How close to leveling it was I out of curiosity? We take a look. Oh, it just... Oh, it's at max level because I don't have another seed. That's fair. Okay, so I could have been leveling my other magic. Good to know. I need to remember that that's a mechanic. I can't level it higher than the number of seeds that I've unlocked. Her resort's a hit! So at this point, I don't need to level freeze. I can level other things. We're like slaves here. Okay. See, we're relearning mechanics on the fly, chat. Things you don't normally care about when you play the game. Hey, who are you? Haven't we met? Oh well, watch the stove. Just whack it if it cools down, okay? I thought it was automatic. Let's go investigate the thing. Ding ding chat. I hear something. Shall I open it? We'll say yes. Woo, thanks. I'm the fire elemental Salamando. Like to think he's dancing to his own theme. How dare these creatures use me as a heater? Now, let me teach you the power of fire. That's Alamando's power. You again? Didn't you recognize them? Oh, sorry. Everyone's gone. I was about to become rich. Huh? Fire Palace Seed, I have a clue. Saw an old guy when we nabbed Salamando. Don't help them. See ya, bye. Okay. So I have one walnut left. We need to get a couple more. Hmm.
Uh, so we got Salamando's magic. So I think this is the first time she can actually start doing legit, like legit damage, but it's not usually worth it. So it's kind of nice if you're playing the female character, you finally have some offensive magic. I guess I'll just know I don't plan on using it <laughs> unless I'm like really desperate. So let's talk about the other spells that are here. Fireball, pretty cheap, good damage, um, but unfortunately Freeze is just at such a higher level that it's not worth doing anything with yet. We have Lava Wave, which is so slow that it basically lets us combo loop even if we aren't Pygmied. And we have Exploder, which is big damage. Unfortunately, it's another four cost spell. Let's go ahead and cast Fireball on a couple of these. So we need to level Fireball at some point. J hits level 19, not bad. So we're just gonna spam this, because we, we need to level this for the upcoming boss. Not optional. We're gonna use our leftover money to hopefully get some fairy walnuts. I could go backwards technically to get them, since they're cheaper. I'm kinda thinking about if I wanna do that. Like the fastest thing to do would be to go forward, for sure. But I'm also at the point where I also burn a lot of my spare money on stupid stuff. Seriously. That sucked. Got interrupted with my attack there. You know what, let's just go back. I'm gonna use the inn and whatever money we get on the way back is good enough. So those uh, clouds actually do drop stuff that I'm interested in potentially. So some of the enemies here can drop things as strong as fairy walnuts, which would save us a lot of time if it random dropped. As you can imagine, in a game where we're predominantly just using magic spells. Please, please keep moving. Please keep moving. Why are you standing still? This is killing me, literally. This is so annoying. As I said before, if, you, if it was more like Smash Brothers and you could yank them away when they start doing stupid stuff, and it wouldn't be too bad, but like when they hug, when they stop you physically on the screen, it results in you taking so much damage. Speaking of which, like she died because of that, by the way, and I might die here as well. So I'm really hoping that that stops happening because that's quite annoying. Okay, let's go back here. This should be the cannon travel guy, right? So if I need to, I could go back this way. But let's go... Oh, how is the dead person stuck on something? Give me a break. Give me a break, right, chat? Please stop attacking. Magic is please, please don't make me game over here randomly. I'm begging you. It's so dumb when it happens. Yeah, the AI is definitely the worst part of the game. It's very fun when you play multiplayer, but... I might die here completely, actually, because they're getting me really destroyed. So unfortunate. Uh-oh. Oh, that could have been game over there. Like, not like no joke, if he hit me one more time, I think that was GG. Holy, they are just so stupid sometimes. So yeah, a lot of the a lot of the end game also of Secret of Mana is figuring out how to make your allies not die. Also. I did not realize we got that much gold from the boss. I would have kept going had I realized we had 5k. We Keep in mind, we spent down to, I think, literally, what was it, 100 or so? Oh, yeah, I would have just proceeded. Oh, well. Well, at least I got my MP restored. Let's go purchase the walnuts. I guess it saves me from grinding money later. The item that I need, I think, is like 3,000 or 3,600 or something like that. So I can already afford what I need for the end of the game. So that's always nice. I could take a safety armor if I want to. Nah. It's fine. What I do need though is healing, unironically. We'll, we'll buy safety chocolates, that's fine. <laughs> right, chat? I thought I had these already. 
Yeah, so we're maxed out on revives, chocolates. We should be good. So yeah, I should have checked our status for the amount of gold, but hey, that's what happens when you haven't played the game in like 20 years. <laughs> you you learn. Uh, I'd have the girl cast the saber magic. Honestly, I think it's probably worth it. Nice. Thank you for the good luck. Okay. So we're almost back to where we were. Just gotta get a little further. More importantly, I have all the walnuts that I need. Just gotta avoid massive damage. If I gotta knock them over, I can. I missed my jab. That was my fault. I missed my jab. Not necessarily looking for kills, I just want to make sure we progress. Oh, that's right, dead end, dead end. Uh, I guess I get another shot at leveling magic. I guess I could purchase another fairy walnut with the other character, because I know it's eventually we're going to get up to one. Please don't kill me. Because I, I do need to level it. Let's see. Do something like this. Do something like this. I decided to use Cure Water there because I wasn't entirely convinced I was going to live if I got hit. need this to give us what we need here. Oh, that actually was strong enough to kill. Nice. When it hit when it hits level 1, I'm going to feel very happy, but until then, I'm going to be nervous. Should be getting close. Nice. So again, we basically just got money in order to afford another walnut, is basically what happened there. We're gonna cure. Get our safety heal. Oops, there we go. Oh, turtle. They killed the sprite, that's not good. The sprite caught on the tree, and that made me slower to get up there, and I got punished for that. That was a very unfortunate series of events that just happened there. I need them alive, so I'm going to revive them now. Please don't kill the sprite again. Do you still have spare magic? You do. Let's do this. Please join me over here. Might as well get the kill, because they're ready to damage. And I think maybe this is the merchant that I was thinking of? Yeah, there we go. That That's where I thought I was going, just for chat clarity. When I was like, suddenly boss, oops. So anyway, we're going to have to purchase a walnut here. Oh, we have to use a walnut first, that's fine. Though we still have plenty of cash, so I think we're doing fine there. More importantly, we have fire magic at level 1. We have a save point. Get rid of a, of a wish. So we can afford to make some mistakes. We, we gave ourselves wiggle room by farming those extra enemies in the upper woods. And it pretty much puts our weapon level for good enough for the end of the game. 
And if our allies do need to attack, it should actually do damage as opposed to just being a tickle. So you can see, like, I wasn't able to combo damage there as easily. Some enemies require them to be in certain poses for you to do damage. Please don't die. This area is so scary. That feeling when you attack and it's still not fast enough. That is the worst feeling. I might need to switch to something else just to hit them. Maybe I have to play as the sprite. Because I need I need the whip, I think, to get through this area. And because I leveled the whip, I actually do okay damage. Running another safety heal. Oh, I wasn't ready for it. It's kind of unfair. Please move. Come on. No, oh, stop stepping on the switch. It's messing with me. It's so annoying. What? Did I glitched the spell out. What was that? Yeah, that was weird. I don't think I've seen that one before. Hey, please just dodge. I'm, I'm begging you. Like, they, they really need to stop taking it in the face or I'm going to have trouble clearing this dungeon. Like, so far, I've mostly been stopping for them. Like, I think I actually have to walnut the girl because they just keep taking it in the face over and over. Yeah, her magic leveled at least. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just go a little further, go a little further. You can make it. There we go. Whatever. We're through. Uh, I'm gonna go left first. Blue drop, not dealing with you. Whoa! What is she doing? Why did she ch Why did she go upwards? You've got to be kidding me. See, stuff like that drives me wild, chat. Like, that that I don't miss about Secret Amata. Would they just, like, dummy run into the enemy? Like, how was going up where anywhere where I wanted to go? I think it's the right switch. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, whatever. Uh, that book has a secret in it, but I don't think it's worth waiting around to find out what it does. They might have uh, slipped in a pinup girl image in there at some point, by the way. Classic SNES. Please don't die. Yeah, we managed to get through the maze. We stepped on the book. I think I'm almost where I need to be. I'm gonna safety heal the girl and step on the switch. Or did that cancel the heal? Did that cancel the heal? That is so unfortunate if it did. Wow, it did. I canceled the heal. Hmm, unfortunate. Alright, so let's see. If I remember correctly, damage-wise, I should be able to do something like this. Do initial damage, then do... Do not rotate controller when I'm not pressing rotate. That is so scary. Because I've leveled, this should now work. I think this is literally enough damage. Yeah, so now I skip a phase. So this saves a lot of time, as chat can see. Because I stopped them from healing and doing all their other awful nonsense. Dead. At least the boss fights are going extraordinarily well. <laughs> like, the boss fights have nothing else. That was clean. That was really clean. So we're just going to do this to finish things off. So we're going to do Fireball. 
Get more uses of fire because we need to keep leveling it. And we're gonna do a nice little lava wave into a nice little fireball. GG. Oh, it trans. Oh, it was like off by just a little bit. That's unfortunate. Um, it has to be close to dead, right? All right, all but one was done successfully. And I think at the rate that I'm damaging it, because I had backup sword, I think this is fine. I'm gonna save my fairy, or yeah, my walnut, fairy walnut. This is fine. So unfortunately, the last fireball just hit slightly too slow. So I could have maybe positioned the sprite a little closer to avoid that from happening. But at the same time, we now have a completely free boss fight. I don't have to worry about manipulating like three plus. The downside is this thing loves to heal. But hey, that's why we leveled the sword. Otherwise this would be taking like 50 years. <laughs> Almost dead. Yeah, there we go. Nice little heal. Yeah, that that just kind of happens, by the way. We're just kind of like, yeah, that's just don't mind that at all. Let's proceed further. Oh, Rusty, no. Worst case scenario. Worst case. I swung at them, but they split, so I didn't get by them safely. Okay, we need the whip. Hmm. Prefer not to have to fight the cloud, so I'm not gonna fight the cloud. You can't hit it with melee. Which makes sense. There's always enemies in the mono games that are immune to that. I would like to go through the door. Yes, I believe we're almost at the next boss already. Be gone. Well, we're gonna say no. Quite conceited for a child. Time for your punishment. Come. Bye. Right. So we gotta be very careful with this. Please go to the right character. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna use Exploder here, I think. And while this is happening, we just attack him to slow him down a little bit. We're going to Exploder, and then you are going to cast Mallet, and then you are going to use Walnut. Oh, you didn't cast the spell! <laughs> Stuff like that is scary. Whenever I see them not cast it, that's so bad. But now with Pygmy, this should be free. Say GG to this boss chat, it's about to get wrecked. Goodbye. Okay, now that boss went really well. <laughs> I got scared when they didn't chain it, but I saved it. End of the line. End of the line indeed. Goodbye. And we leveled up fire magic, which is good, because I needed to be at high level for other things. We got Boomerang Orb, chat. Hey, chat. And you are? Master Santa Claus, are you alright? Oh, Rudolph. Sorry to have you worried. I'm fine now. It turned into Frost Gigas because kids just no longer believed in me. See that, chat? It's your fault. That's for not believing. When mana fades, kids lose their hopes and dreams. I wanted so badly to bring back all of their dreams. Then I heard that mana trees grow instantly and become huge. I set off to find a mana seed, thinking I could grow a huge Christmas tree. But it was the seed that changed my body and turned me into that monster. The power of mana is abused, it can be very dangerous. Here, take the fire seed. You need it, right? You got the fire seed. Anyway. Now we have the true horror of trying to get- Oh! oh spamming buttons. This looks like a horrible room. 
Um, slow? Come over here and slow? Did they really cast slow on me the moment I was gonna get through? Did that really just happen? Wow, that was unfortunate. Well, we lost a little bit of health, but not much we could do about that. So we are just going to try to leave this hell forest. But we'll see if the game will let me. How much healing do I have spare, by the way? Do I have any? No. Hmm. Well, we're in for an interesting trip back. I could go restock a walnut for safety precautions, and I might go do that. Build. What is she, why is she stuck there? Game, please. <laughs> Stop it. That's not my fault, chat. She just, like, ran hard left into the wall and got stuck. Jeez, game. Anyways, let's take a look at her proficiency so I can remind myself. I think almost everything's at level 3 already, right? Except for... Oh, actually, Gnome isn't level 3. So let's get Gnome to level 3, and then we'll slowly work on Salamando and Sifid on the next boss fight, I think. So we'll buy one Walnut. Which basically negates beating the boss. And then I'll save the game. So we're gonna go to the cannon. Let's have you use the walnut on yourself. We'll buy the cheaper walnuts at the other place. If I have a spare chocolate, I'd like to use it. I don't have it. Uh, it's fine. Got hit while trying to attack again. I need to just boomerang them or something, because they seem to go a little faster than me. Maybe my reflexes are slow, but who knows. Either way, I don't really want to deal with this. a little bit of cash back. So we'll proceed further for now. Ooh, this might be a good opportunity to level this a bit. Oop, I'm not in range of both of them, really? Huh. Okay, well that should definitely be in range. Okay, we're just looking to level our spells as we go forward. So the closer we get to level three, the better. Nice, good level up timing. He keeps walking forward and getting hit, that's so unfortunate. How did that sword swipe miss? Unfortunate. GA leveled, unfortunately the sprite died, but we used up most of his magic, so that's what I was looking to do. Okay, so now we just have to make it through the forest. If I feel like I'm going to die, I'm going to panic a couple wishes, but we just need to make it to the cannon. I don't have to go all the way out of here. Missing that really sucks. I definitely attacked. I definitely attacked. <laughs> Stupid downward thrust. I do feel like you generally have an issue in this game hitting stuff that's below you. Like, it's really easy to hit that enemy, for example, because he's above you. But when you have to hit the stuff that's below you, it's just... Mm. Coin flip time. Please don't get stuck. Thank you. So I think we did everything we could there. No ghosts allowed? Oh. I didn't realize you couldn't travel with a dead party member. I think that's the first time I've ever had that happen. Huh. Definitely first time in the playthrough. Good to know. <laughs> just, just, just die if you do have a dead partner. I mean, fortunately, I have cups of wishes, so that could have been much worse. I'm assuming there's stuff I probably missed in the palace, but I don't think it's super relevant. Not to our playthrough. If you're looking for all item orbs, I think you could get some at the final area. And or you could just glitch the item orbs. Or weapon orbs, I mean. So let's have a nice little nap. 
and go rebuy our walnuts. I mean, we managed to get most of our money back, so I think that was worth it. And again, I'm getting closer to level 3 with other spells. So when we have to use them for weaknesses or whatever, we should be fine. And my level's actually looking pretty good for the sprite, Numnu, that is. So I'm feeling pretty happy about that, too. Rip our money. Okay. Making sure everything is maxed. So, until we get the upgrade for the Fire Seed, there's no point to leveling other magic. Let's try to avoid going in here. Also, by the way, when we're not in awful sand pits, I'm going to showcase something that I remembered. I think this will do. So, if I hit L and hold L, I can moonwalk and do other things. So if I disable charge on myself, actually, I can moonwalk, run. Oh. Oh, it's just there naturally. Okay, if I do it on a weapon, I don't have charge. We should be good. Ready for dirty dancing. Indeed, dirty dancing. I really don't want to fight anything here. So now I'm just trying to remember how to get to the temple. Oh. We call that fortuitous, chat. <laughs> it's like, listen, chat, I know they said left, but I'm like, where left is the question. Um... Please cast your spell. I could make her dodge the damage by doing this. There we go. See, like, we have actual counter... Oh. We have actual counterplay versus magic, as long as we are not the ones that are targeted by it. Oops, speaking of which... I might be able to save myself here if I'm fast enough. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> See what I mean, chat? Like, that would have been so much damage that I just wouldn't be able to deal with. Oh, that is just ultra rude. What was that? Okay, I'm gonna have you just heal us, because we're taking massive damage. Hmm. So this is, this is the slide thing I mentioned before. I'm gonna hit level 21. That's actually good for us. So there are ways to get up this. I'm just curious about something. Since I have level 4 charge, how far does this take me? It's actually not bad, so if I had two level 4 charges, I would get up there. AI doesn't react to terrain like normal characters do, if Chad is curious. So as long as they're up there, they'll stay up there, but they tend to run towards you. So you'd have to do something like... Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like practicing it. But you get the idea. You would basically just charge attack to get through. Okay. Talk about flames. End of the line, chat. I believe we need the fire orb to progress. Now the question is, is it fireball or exploder? Hmm. <laughs> now now I'm in deep contemplation chat because one of these things will waste a lot of MP. Hmm. Oops, I did not mean to do that. That is kind of the downside. I'm going to guess that it's Exploder because it's more expensive, but I don't have any other like good reason for it. I'm just hoping because we did the cheaper spell last time and we were not rewarded. Okay, that time. Okay, good guess. Dead end room. Can't do anything here. Reset the room. As soon as you see a slime that you didn't hit, just go 
reset room time. That's fine, I can reset room. Oh, come on. He took 100 damage and died? What? Holy, the damage was insane. Holy, did you even see that, chat? I died from full health, like, instantly. Holy. What? Yeah, that damage was a little, uh... Was a little special, I'm not gonna lie. At least that guy has low health. Oh, we have to guess. Okay, it looks like an Earth Orb. So what spell should we use? Is it gonna be Gem Missile? Is it gonna be Earth Slide? Or is that actually the magic? <sighs> so unfortunate. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I better just check this. Is this up before? It's been way too long since I played this. I don't remember all the weaknesses. Could be fire again, even though it's earth. I want to avoid that scenario. Alright, so fire magic will work. Okay, so let's try fireball then. Okay. I was thinking it wouldn't repeat the same spell. So I had like a 50-50. Get away from me. Level Earth Magic here a little bit. Okay. So most of the spells are at least getting decent issues. So she's got Cure Magic level 3, which as I said before is my safety net for not having played the game in a while. Uh, got a door here that just leads here. Wow, that was the worst stab I've ever seen. Try that again. Much better. I think chat could agree, much better. Oh, by the way, Chad, you see these screen transitions? Oh, nice chest. Glad we went back. Another thousand gold. If you are playing multiplayer, by the way, as a warning, if both of you on the same frame touch that door, you will double teleport and soft lock yourself. So just, just to warn you, it is fun in multiplayer. But this was probably the first time I straight up just soft locked myself by moving. <laughs> so just to warn you, this game has a lot of problems. Yes. I I wish I would say that that is just something in theory, but no, I've experienced that before. Um, I'm gonna go down this passageway. Oh. Makes sense, the enemy was at the right passageway, I guess. I mean, I'm just gonna bully him then. This guy's free money, as far as I'm concerned. All that to get a chest, okay. And inside was an axe orb. Oh, oh and apparently an ambush. Rude. I've leveled. So leveling at least gives us strength, so our sword damage is good, it's just our defenses are booty. So we might, we might take some safety armor so I don't explode going forward, but we'll see. I really don't want to be on the screen with them anymore, and I'm getting concerned that they are making me hang around that long. Because eventually they'll start doing stuff. Hey, yeah, what's down here? Hmm. Mallard duck is troll- No! This could be bad for us. I should have tried negating the damage there. Ooh, she still gets the status ailment, though. Interesting. Please follow me. Please get out of this room. <laughs> right, chat? We we do not want to mess with this room. Let's get out of here. Okay, that's promising. There's a whip. Uh, There's a switch. I one-shot them on a crit. That's very interesting. So that says we are in a really good position. Oh, the chest is trying to walk away from me. Did you see that? Stone trap? Well... Rip me, I guess. <laughs> right, chat? I tried. Hmm... Still got a spare chocolate. Let's use it. 
Uh, will this take me to where I can whip? Looks like it will. Dumb news, whip hit level 2. That's a good sign. Ah, uh, nice try, mister. Numnu hitting level 4 whip would actually be super useful to showcase something later. Need her to get out of there. Please don't die to damage over time, thank you. Have her heal up. Again, I could just leave them dead if I really need to. I love she started flying upwards with us. Okay. Um, I don't know the weakness at all. Sorry, Chad. This part of the game is a bit weak for me because there's just so many random puzzles of like, I just, I don't remember these. Undine's magic will work. Um, do I think it's freeze or absorb? I don't think it's acid storm, but I guess I could check. Let's use a walnut. So the more levels we have, the more MP we get to work with, which is kind of nice. I'm going to try HP Absorb. Nope. Uh, Acid Rain. Seriously? It was Freeze? Unfortunate. <sighs> that was so unlucky. Well, I can't win them all, I guess. Oh. Did I have to walk between those? Oh, I guess because they're the only ones lit up. I guess that's fair. Hmm. I feel like we have to be close to the boss. The question is... What do we do? Do I need to prep anything? I guess I could try to pig me early. Just looking at my MP. My MP's okay. I think this is the... Minotaur fight? OBS, please. Okay, it is, the, it is the thing I was thinking of. So we'll do... Mostly just air spells here. So we'll start with a little bit of air blast into maybe thunder. So that way I can delay long enough to slow. I mean, I've been leveling the air blast a little bit, so it's not completely terrible. Please stop walking up in melee. We'll give another walnut just in case. Big damage. It's in defense stance, but that's not really going to help it very much. Nice level up of magic. OBS really distracting me when I'm trying to combo. There we go, nice kill. GG. Okay, so unfortunately it looks like OBS is being very, very unstable. So we're, we're gonna pause after this, sadly, because it is too distracting for me to continue the playthrough. So we got a Javelin Zorb. Now I can level magic another level if I unseal it. The seed's on the stage. Hold up the sword. So let's go ahead and do this. See the mana seed's power? So now stuff can hit level 4. So with that out of the way, I guess the question is, what do we do next? I mean, I need to find a save, so I guess I'll go back to town no matter what. So let me just escape rope out of here, I think. So let's just go back and save. I think at some point I'm going to get hit by a nasty spider. Oh, it's not here. So yeah, let's make it to the save, and unfortunately we're going to stop here for now. It looks like, unfortunately, just internet issues abound. So sorry to end the stream a little earlier than I wanted. But again, I find that very, very distracting to hear those disconnect, reconnect sounds. Especially when I'm trying to time something with an audio cue. 
So what we're gonna do is we are going to probably just keep using Earth Magic if we can. Yeah, like it, it literally is just not reconnecting. So we'll do that. Our magic level, nice. Gnome level three is huge. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just kind of burn up our MP just for the sake of burning it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Gnome for the sake of using Gnome. I actually have so much gold, I might as well just level magic again while I'm here. So I probably want Freeze to start leveling as soon as possible, so let's just do that now. A couple kills here and there with Freeze. It's already doing like 500 plus, which is pretty crazy. So we're just getting this out of the way now, so I don't need to level it later, because we will be using Freeze basically throughout. So any little bits of XP I could get here are nice. And this is just paying for my in and whatever anyway. Nice 999. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go. I don't remember the stars. It's possible they were there before and I just forgot. Negate the damage on the protagonist real quick. Negated. Whoa, stop moving me randomly. Stop that. <laughs> it's like, don't make the game harder than it should be there. Okay, so we're just gonna cast a couple more spells. And she will... I don't know. Do we even need to level anything else with her? I don't think so. And I could cast a damage spell just because. I think I missed where I needed to go. Oh, so here's the place I wanted to go earlier. I could technically skip this gap and go to a place early. The game has at least some sequence break countermeasures in there. So we'll need to learn how to come back there for later. We don't need to touch that forever. Like we're not gonna be there for like another four hours easy if we're taking our time with it, that is. So now I just need to find where to go. Backtracking is the hard, hard part. Is this where I needed to go? I felt like I wasn't too far off where I needed to go, and that's looking promising. Okay, canceled it by going through here. Perfect. Okay, so I wasn't too far off. I was off by one screen. So I just had to reverse my course. 13,000? Well, I mean, if, if I'm going to have that much defense, I might as well just get the golden vest at this point. Yeah, I have way more money than I thought I did. So I don't need the money for anything other than healing items at this point. So I'm going to do this so I don't die as often. I'm going to save money for arm pieces and stuff. Let me go ahead and just upgrade them here. I wasn't planning on getting armor again, but I guess those other enemies and the boss were worth so much that I might as well as upgrade. So let's go ahead and do that now. Yeah, that's a pretty significant defense increase. So hopefully the extra 19 defense will mean that I don't get bodied as hard in the next area. I don't think any of the armors offer any interesting stats, so we're pretty safe in swapping these out. So let's go sell it just to clean our inventory up a little bit. So back up to 5,000. Then we should be good. Nice. There we go. Now we shouldn't be as glass cannony. So we're almost about where we should be power level wise. Because I ended up farming a few extra enemies. And apparently those few extra enemies really rocketed my gold total up. So let's go save. So our goal is to basically just keep Undine as high level as possible. So we're going to keep leveling it throughout. And we're going to level whatever elemental weaknesses also whenever we get a chance. 
But I think for now, chat, due to the connection issues, we're gonna pause here. So let's have a brief chat. So how do I feel the game is going so far? I think from the standpoint of the uh, the area exploration, some of the rooms are kind of brutal. So a lot of that is just kind of figuring out our way to make sure that we're able to get by some of the problem rooms easily. I'm not going to lie. I only vaguely recall what to do from here. I think, for example, we need to take a cannon to go to the next location. Um, but there is a lot of open world element that we're going to briefly see uh, probably in the next part. So that, that's where I get concerned because it's a fairly big map, but there's not a lot to do in it. So it's going to be a lot of me looking for whatever the next destination is. But I think in terms of levels and stats and everything else, I'm feeling really good. Like, I'm definitely stronger than where I thought I would be. And having all those other weapons just minorly incremented means I have, like, a backup plan. So I think in terms of, like, dungeon clearing, we should be fine. Uh, I probably want to get a little bit of money and then buy some super armor in a little bit. But we have at least another dungeon to make money before I need to worry about anything. I believe it's called like literally straight up the circlet, which will increase the intelligence of our character, which will greatly boost magic damage. So we want that basically on the numnu slash sprite character immediately. So we have some safety armor so we don't just explode when randomly comboed. So instead of taking 70 damage, I think we should be taking 50 or less now, which is pretty big. Honestly, for where we are in the game to be instead of getting killed and potentially four hits, surviving up to six hits and being able to potentially hold off on spamming heal magic, more importantly, means we have some longevity with us. And again, once we get that intelligence booster, that's also going to be a big amount of defense. But other than that, I don't really have any other planned purchases for the rest of the game, aside from healing items. If we happen to have a lot of cash, maybe, maybe I'll pick something up real quick. Um, but I think otherwise, there is a lot of good gear that you get in the final dungeon potentially anyway. So even if I really wanted to just grind money and get a decent upgrade going into the final dungeon itself, we could just randomly get something that invalidates that entire grind. So I'm going to bank on us getting at least one upgrade of some sort as we go through there, even if it's not directly damage related. Um, but even if it doesn't happen, we're just going to make sure to stock up on alternate healing items. So keep in mind, too, we were not able to purchase candies or honey for healing. So hopefully we'll be able to stock up on those next time we're at a big store. So, so far, these areas don't really sell it. We know that the cat does. And we have 4k to do so. So we're still fine money-wise. We don't have any money woes. So we're going to try to level up our magic a little bit next time and... Maybe we can even go back in the desert briefly just to level up magic a bit more as a safety precaution. Since, as I said before, it's been a long time since I did like boss weaknesses and stuff like that, so it's not fresh in my head. So we'll hopefully be fine, probably for the next several bosses. And yeah, with the ability to pygmy, it's much easier to stunlock bosses. And being able to counterplay on spell casts as long as they don't hit the whole party and only focus one party member is kind of a big kind of skill based counterplay because I have to recognize that I'm being hit by it and react to it accordingly. And that's going to let us survive uh, much longer than we normally would without grinding our brains out or playing with two controllers or playing with two people. So we'll find a nice little happy balance with it. If Chad is curious too, there was the barrel item that was from uh, Neku the cat. Uh, that also does the same thing as the pygmy, where you become Im immortal, essentially, to damage. But the downside about that is it doesn't make your cast faster. I think it does interrupt it or something weird. So it's just easier for me to get the pygmy, because one, it's free, and then two, uh, spell casting bonuses. Plus, when I'm smaller, I don't have a big hurt box, so there's always some small upsides to it. But anyway, chat, sadly, we're going to stop here. Uh, I just don't trust the connection, and I don't feel like being frustrated when we do the playthrough. I'm going to make sure we're having a good time, and when the internet drops like five times in a row, I'm not having a good time. So we're going to pause for now. It's not related to the game specifically. Uh, but I think I'm not going to do a game tomorrow, honestly, if it's like this. I, I, I think I'm just going to skip tomorrow. So no bonus stream tomorrow. Sorry, people looking for PSO. 
Uh, but for now, chat, we're going to say goodbye to those watching for Secret of Mana. So if you did watch to this point in the playthrough, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.